Hi everyone, my name's Michael Sherry. Today I'm showing a brand new 2020 Keystone Outback. Now this is a special Outback. It's a toy hauler Outback. This is the 324 CG. Now they also have the 335 CG, so if that's what you're looking for, jump over to my other video, just YouTube Outback, Keystone Outback 335 CG. You'll, you'll find me on there, I've done a couple. So uh, I'm gonna flip this around and show you this all new 2020 324 CG. King bed, two slides, what a beaut. Keystone Outback, this is Keystone's premier trailer. Uh, they've really pulled out all the stops on the Outback trailer line to really provide the customer with a very quality and well-built travel trailer. Really, this has all the nice stuff in it. It starts out here with the fiberglass front cap. You know, a lot of manufacturers out there are doing the three-quarter cap. This is a one-piece cap. So not not three quarters. It's a full, it's a fully solid one piece cap. Wraps all the way up into the roof line. If you look here, it goes over up into the roof about a foot. It comes out on the side several inches, probably eight inches, and it wraps all the way down here in the bottom. And what they've done here to protect the front of this is they've coated this with a material similar to what they put in truck bed liners. Uh, it's a nice thick, you can actually feel the line there, nice thick material to, to protect the front end of this. If maybe a rock or some type of road debris might flip up, it's going to protect the front of it. The black up here uh, below the Outback sign is automotive paint, so that's not going to fade out on you. It's going to look good for years and years to come. Also, this is equipped with the BAL 7.3 leveling system. That means there's seven points of leveling and it automatically does it. Now this is an option on Outbacks. So if you're out there shopping around and maybe find one a little bit less expensive, make sure it has this 7.3 leveling system if that's what you want. The, the down the step down from this would be the 5.1 stabilizing system. So the 7.3 will actually level it with seven points of contact three rams and four uh, stabilizing jacks. The 5.1 only stabilize it. it, has one ram, which would be the tongue jack, and then four stabilizing jacks. So basically with the 7.3, you get two more rams behind the rear wheels, which I'll show you. So it's got docking lights here. I'm gonna flip that switch on, and that's gonna turn on this LED underneath here, underneath the brow there. Comes with two propane tanks. We do fill those up and we provide a brand new battery. Some dealers call that prep. We at Paul Sherry RVs just call that part of the sale, which is the way we really feel like it should be. We're not gonna charge you for those unnecessary fees. It's built into our price and talking about our price, it's generally the very best price in the United States because we buy in volume and we don't need to get rich off any one deal like a lot of dealers tend to do. Two slides, both are on this side. Also has your docking station here. This is gonna be a water hookup. So it has an outside shower. Also gonna have your city water connection fill right there. And then down here, what we have is your, uh, one of those rams. So there's seven of them, one's up front there at the tongue jack, and then there's one behind each rear wheel. You can see the other one on the other side. So that's what's gonna level this, or this travel trailer. So here is storage. This is going to be underneath the king bed. That box right there is a box for a 50 inch television to give you an idea. And it's, it fits in there fine. There's actually more room. 50 amp power service. So it's going to be uh, capable of running two air conditioners on that 50 amp power service. Uh, it comes with one air. A second air is an option. Ladder uh, to get up onto the roof. It is a fully walkable roof, so you can get up there and do your roof maintenance. The Outbacks are known for their extreme crownness. That's not my camera. That's a rounded roof, and that's what you want. You want a rounded roof that's gonna allow the water to roll off very, very nicely. Coming around to the fun side of the camper, there's two entry doors on this. The rear entry goes right into the bedroom, which is nice. Maybe you have guests over. Uh, sleeping in other parts of the, the trailer and uh, you can just go right in there without waking them up. This also is, has two axles on it. It's got really nice tires and alloy wheels. So those wheels are going to look good for years and years to come being an alloy wheel. Big long power awning. I have it out just partial. Uh, part of the way. And I like this awning. It's a Solera power awning by LCI. It's got the LED light strip built into the arms. 
Here's your main entry. We'll go in there in just a second. But here's what this makes this trailer really unique is this ramp right here. Uh, you can actually decrease the steepness of this ramp. This part here will actually fold out. Get this out of the way here. To make this ramp longer and therefore decrease the steepness so that ramp will actually come out and there's some braces there to actually make the transition if you are driving a vehicle up in here even easier for you uh, the whole ramp is a skid resistant type of material so it's easy to walk up and it'll be easy to drive up also have this transition plate here which i do a lot of videos on toy haulers most companies now are leaving that out that leaves this big gap here which isn't a big deal but your motorcycle tire sometimes will get stuck in that so it's nice that from the factory outback provides that four tie downs in this two here and then you have your your bunk beds over here bunk both bunk beds flip up this one will flip up about that far and then the bottom bunk will flip up all the way and that reveals your other two tie downs for a total of four tie downs uh, this garage is uh, ventilated so you can open up this and open up that for some ventilation in here if you are hauling something with gas, it'll, it's always nice to have some ventilation when you're traveling down the road. Now this being a bunk bed area also doubles as a second sleeping area, right? So the factory does wire in uh, satellite and cable or antenna cables and your power and puts a backer in the wall to mount a television right here on the wall. Nice area. I love this part of the Outbacks because we sell a lot of customers that never haul a four-wheeler, golf cart, dirt bike, nothing, no motorcycle in here. They just like the space, right? You know, the kids want to bring all their stuff and the kids can kind of be in here and this is all Leno. So, you know, the kids can make a mess and you just sweep it right out. So it makes it a nice area in the garage. All right. Again, this is the 324 2020 Keystone Outback. Weighs 7,900 pounds. So this is going to definitely be a one ton or three quarter ton truck towable. Not recommended for a half ton truck. So this door goes into the garage, which I just showed you. That's right as soon as we walk into the door to our right. But the rest of this trailer really doesn't have a toy hauler feel, which I really appreciate. It's a travel trailer, right? With a toy hauler bonus up front, which I just showed you. So as you walk in, in the slide room here, you have two theater seats. These are Thomas Paine collection theater seats, which is the premium Thomas Paine. They're going to recline. They have beverage holders in the center there, and they're comfortable which can't be said for all types of RV furniture, but they're truly comfortable. Big windows, all the windows open up in the slide. And then this booth here is on the other side of the slide. It has the big booth with the big seats and it also has the Dream Danette. That's gonna allow that mechanism right there that I'm showing you will allow this table to fold down and the cushions will therefore fold flat to allow for this area to be, uh, someone can sleep on here is what I'm trying to say. And then all throughout this trailer, there's going to be USB charging uh, ports where you can charge, you know, your iPhone or your Android phone or your tablet. And then from this side of the dinette and then from both spots on the theater seats, you have great viewing of the 50 inch flat screen television. This trailer, as far as I'm aware, does come with that television. Uh, at least we generally order them in that way. It might be an option. So double check on that when you're shopping around also this does come standard the jensen radio this is a dvd player as well which is something that you know you don't find in every camper dvd and cd player but it's bluetooth ready so if you want to pair your phone with it you surely can and then down here this really kind of just wraps up this whole entertainment system is this 48 inch space heater fireplace built in comes standard in this trailer and then there's plenty of storage on both sides of the radio and also on this side of the radio there's actually an outlet down there so if you want to add a dvd player or something or it already has a dvd player maybe a game system uh, you can do that storage along the uh, left side of the tv and then storage above these cabinets up here i like they have an inlaid glass so this kind of adds to the peel all right kitchen area so kitchen is uh well equipped it has a decent amount of countertop space how it comes around here and the countertop itself is a solid surface lg rock type material and that allows for this single basin sunk down sink and a high-rise faucet so it really 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 does well they have this really fancy sink cover which is in plastic so it's hard to roll out but what this does it's going to cover that hole and then you can put a hot pan right on top of that 
and uh, that's not going to hurt your countertop or anything like that. So that's what that's for. So that's a nice addition, kind of dual purpose. And then over here, it does have the, the range cover here. Uh, and then when you go to use it, it's a three burner gas range. And then a gas oven down here. It does have the glass door so you can see what's inside. Uh, and it's a little bit larger than what's typically put in a camper. Range hood as well. So that's going to exhale any smoke or steam coming from the cooking from the stovetop. And then, of course, your microwave right here. RV refrigerator over here. This is a dual mode refrigerator. So this refrigerator is going to work off propane gas when you're traveling down the road to keep that food cold in the refrigerator and frozen in the freezer. All right, coming back to the main bedroom and bathroom, you have your control panel nicely done on the wall here. So this is going to be kind of the brains of the camper. You can put your slides in and out with this. Uh, you can put your awning in and out with this. And you can also check the levels of your various tanks. So your black tank, your gray tank, and turn on your water heater either on uh, electric or LP. It does both on the water heater there. So, And then through this door here, it's going to be your, your bathroom. It's all in one stool here. Plenty of floor room to get ready in the morning. A big sink uh, with a nice faucet. And then a mirrored cabinet here with some storage behind for your toothbrushes. Some more storage over here in this cabinet. And then of course there is power in here. There's a vent in here as well. And stand up shower. Uh, the shower does have a skylight in it as you can see there <laughs> went a little fast there and then also has these glass doors so no fussing with the you know the cheap shower curtain that sticks to you when you're in the shower all right the bedroom here uh is separated off Let's see if i can do it it has this pocket door so it is a private bedroom and boy is it a big one so there's a slide out in the, the second slide is actually in this bedroom uh which the bed itself slides out now this is a king size bed it's a big one and what i like about it is there's plenty of room on both sides especially at the foot of the bed you can get dressed here in the morning but you can easily get out from either side of the bed is what i'm trying to say and then the windows in the slide room actually open so you can get some cross ventilation in there storage above and then check this out. I love this feature because I have a dog, but it comes with a dog, a dog crate in it. Uh, so, you know, typically you go camping, uh, you know, your, your big, big dog's not going to fit in there. But my dog, like Leroy, little poodle mix, she'll fit in there just fine. And uh, just a nice thing, something if you need it, it's there. If not, you're just going to use that area as storage, right? Uh, maybe the kids will have fun with it if they're little. So, but uh, I like that. Because a dog crate can be, kind of be like, well, where do I put the dog? <laughs> uh, but this one, you don't think about it. A lot of drawers in here as well. And then here is your closet. Big closet. Hang your clothes up there on that rod. And then even a couple more drawers here. I love the drawers in this. They're full depth drawers here. So you're going to be able to get to the back of the drawer. Uh, because this drawer glide allows the drawer to come out all the way. couple hooks there for maybe spare towels and coats and that couple that kind of thing all right that completes this walkthrough on this keystone outback this is a 324 cg right so they also make a 335 cg which i mentioned earlier that's a rear garage in the outback both are super cool i love them and what i like about these cargo trailers in an outback is you don't actually need to haul anything it just be for your stuff and it makes for a good spot for guests or kids to say uh because it's easy to clean and uh just a fun trailer. I really like it. So thanks for viewing. Uh, if you think this will work for you and want more information like pricing and pictures and stuff, I'll post some links below. So make sure you check that out. And also, uh, if this doesn't work for you, we have over 300 more campers in stock. So chances are we probably have something that might work for you. And uh, you might think, well, why would we ever go see you, Mike, at Paul Sherry RVs in Ohio when we live in Virginia or North Carolina or whatever? Well, I don't know. Uh, read our reviews is all I can say and uh, find out what real customers who have done that track and have asked the same question said about us after they did that. So check that out, check out our reviews and I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. If you find your way in the store, hunt me down, say hi.